Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the top 10 mods of the week. I do apologize, this is technically speaking for last week because this is going to come out on a Monday. Uh, so I do apologize for it coming out late. This is going to be for all platforms. So uh, what I mean by all platforms is I mean that I'm going to cover all the mods that came out for all platforms. So I'm going to cover PC and Mac mods as well as mods that came out for PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. So I cover all of that. That's what the all platforms means. Um, today, um, we only have three PC only mods. So most of the mods are for all platforms. So just for you console people out there. But yeah, I try to include everyone into it and include mods from both sides. So uh, that's kind of the purpose. But anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into it. For number one, we have the Small Stational Workshop trailer. This is by Camillo0397. This is 0.58 megabytes to download for all platforms. This is currently rated 4.6 out of five stars with 180 people having rated it. You can find this in the build menu. If you go under, if you go where are we at here? We're gonna go under tools down at the very end here. Let's look over here, right here down at the very end, you can find the vehicle workshop right there. But essentially what it is, it's a workshop. So you can pull up next to it and use it as a workshop. Um, it's only a thousand dollars as compared to um, the more expensive one that's in base games. So I think this is a fantastic addition to the game. But there you go. That is number one, the small stational workshop trailer. For number two, we have the multi-fruit buying station. This is by 82 Studio, 2.14 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 759 people having rated. This is one of the more popular mods this last week. Um, this is gonna be found in the, oh, not the store here, the, the build menu, which by the way, you can hit the build menu or open it up immediately by hitting shift P. Um, this guy's gonna be found under, I believe it's under containers here at the very end. Yep, there we are, the multi-fruit buying station, $2,500 to buy. Uh, what does this do? Well, it allows you to buy pretty much anything from it. All base game crops and grains, all base liquids, all base production products. You should be able to buy all that stuff from it. If you can get a trailer that can hold it, you pull up onto that, it'll give it to you. So that's kind of the purpose behind this. So very useful if you guys are doing tests or different videos, stuff like that. Um, it just makes life easier. Or if you wanted to buy a production product or a product like I don't know, you wanted to buy wheat and put it into the flour mill. You could do that pretty easily with this. So there you go. That is the multi-fruit buying station. For number three, we have the Silo Nero Multi-Fruit Pack by Raleigh Christie One VSR Modding Sir. This is 0.20 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 450 people having rated it. You can find this in the build menu. If you go under silos down here at the very end, you have a few different options here. So this is the one I have placed 198,000, 2 million liters. This one's 503,000, 6 million liters. And this one is 16 million or excuse me, 16 million liters at 1.2 million to buy. Uh, so what this should allow you to do is pretty much put almost any crop in there. So um, stores all types of grains in these multi-fruit cells. So uh, very helpful if you're gonna store different stuff. So yeah, these things should allow you to store pretty much anything in them. So you should be able to put grapes, olives, all that good stuff into these silos there. But yeah, there you go. That's the Silo Nero Multi-Fruit Pack by Raleigh Christie One. For number four, we have the Mepro Z uh, PN1-14000A. This is by uh, Matthew FS. This is for PC and Mac players only. However, it's only 6.89 megabytes to download. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 30 people having rated it. So uh, fairly highly rated. This is found in the store. Um, if we go up to the top. So if we go into the store, this is gonna be found under slurry tanks. If we scroll down to the very end here. Where are we at? Right there, 19,000 to buy. Uh, we'll do digestate and slurry. It will spread at 10 meter working width. Um, we'll hold 14,000 liters, requires 150 horsepower, and runs at 10 miles an hour. We go into here, we can do wheel standard setup, or excuse me, wheel setup standard and wide. Um, then we can switch over to knock in, and then back to trailer board. And we can do silver or galvanize, which looks pretty cool as well. And you can do a license plate um, on the front and the back, back only, or no plate. So there you go. Um, that is the Meprozet PN. Um, one fourteen thousand a for you. For number five, we have one of my favorites in FS19. It'll probably be one of my favorites in FS22 as well. This is the Composite Machine Sheds by Vertex Design Nigels. This is 18.81 megabytes to download for all platforms. This is currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 296 people having rated it. Um, this is the smallest option we see out here, but if we go into the build menu, um, under sheds, we have um, this one right here, the, th the three doors, the same one I have out here. Then we also have a four door, five door and a six door option for you. So these sheds do look fantastic. They work very well, uh, nice garages. So um, yeah, definitely pretty excited that these came back to the game. I'm very excited to use these myself on my farms, but there you go. That is the composite machine sheds. All right, for number six, we have the John Deere Slice Weight. This is by Camillo0397, 1.74 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 95 people having rated it. Uh, but if you look at the crazy colors out there, that's one of the things I like the most about this. If we go uh, into the store, it'll be under 
weights down here. If we scroll all the way to the end where the mods are gonna be at. Well, actually, let me do that. There we go. Uh, slice weight here at the very end. So $800 starting price. If we go in here, we can change the main color to, well, red if we wanted to. We can change the design color, well, to blue if we wanted to. And then we can do 360, 560, 760, 1010, 1178, and back down to 360. So I have the 1178 out there, but a lot of different customization options that are available for you, and you're still not gonna get the price up too high. So um, there you go. The John Deere slice weight by Camilla 0397. All right, for number seven, we have the Placeable Extended. This is by KR Software's 11 kilobytes to download. This is only for PC and Mac players. This is currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 178 people rating it. Um, yes, what is this little confusing thing you see out in front of you? Well, I just placed some fuel containers into each other to demonstrate what the mod allows you to do. Uh, it allows you to place stuff, well, anywhere. Placeable Extended, so you're able to place basically anywhere. You can place stuff on top of each other. Um, now, you see that little weird landscape portion there to get that to kind of pop up, but um, in general, it works fairly well, so definitely worth checking out. And at a minimum, it'll let you place stuff a lot closer together than you would have been able to before. So I think it allows you to have a little bit more freedom to do what you want to do on your farm, uh, which is pretty cool. So there you go. That is the Placeable Extended Mod by KR Softwares. All right, for number eight, we have the Cokerling Vector 46620. This is by Vertex Design. 23.88 megabytes to download for all platforms. This is currently rated 4.6 out of five stars with 127 people having rated it. This is gonna be found if we go into the store, we scroll up here to our cultivators. We go all the way down to the far end here, if we can make it, there we go. 32,000, the 46620. Um, this thing does offer the ability to, it does say it offers the ability to seed in there. So if we go in here, we'll take a look at that. The Vector 460, um, 620, but there you go. Equipment, standard, the APV, there's your planter right there. So if you wanted to do planting with it, you could do those. Trailer board, we have wheeled standard, Michelin standard, BKT standard, Vertistine standard. So a bunch of different standard options. But yeah, the Vector 460, which is gonna give you a 4.6 meter working width, and then we have a 6.2 meter there. So um, 4.6 requires 220 horsepower, runs at nine miles an hour. This one also runs at nine miles an hour, but requires 280 horsepower. So bumps the horsepower requirement up a little bit for you, but um, oops, there you go. That is the Cokerling Vector 460-620 by Vertex Design. For number nine, we have the Kramer KL30.8T. This is by Universe Simu Modding. This is 10.22 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 228 people having rated it. So um, why is this cool? Uh, we already have this, or we used to have this in the game. We don't have it anymore. So that's one thing that's kind of cool about. Um, it came back, so we go down to front loaders here. Um, let's see if I can find them in here. Where are front loaders? There's so many categories. Oh wait, of course, gonna be up here. Uh, front loaders, there we go. Okay, so we used to have it up here in the game, but we don't have it anymore. So now, not only did we get it back, we also got an electric upgrade and a biogas upgrade. So the one I have out there actually takes methane, um, but we also have one that takes electric, and then obviously a regular one's gonna take diesel or fuel for you. So uh, very cool, it's got different options in there. Uh, if we just take a look at one of them, you can be able to adjust the main color to any of those in there. Um, license plates, you can add it to uh, the front and the back, the back only, and then no plate. So those are your options for license plates. Um, trailer board, we have standard. Michelin, we have standard. Uh, Continental, we have standard. Midas, we have standard. BKT, standard. Uh, Vertistein, we have standard. Um, Nokian, we have standard. And then back to trailer board for you. So a few different options on there, but very cool. So I'm happy to see this guy back into the game. I definitely spent a lot of time using this guy on FS19. So very excited to see the Kramer KL at 38.8T come back into the game. So there you go. All right, for number 10, we have the Mobile Workshop. This is by Rockstar. This is 13 kilobytes to download for PC and Mac players only, currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 97 people having rated it. So this allows you to walk up to a vehicle like this one, look in the upper left-hand corner. It says end to open the vehicle option, so I can open up a repair trigger wherever I want to, and I can repair my vehicle and they're doing that and do whatever I want to do. So you can kind of customize repair vehicles and take care of that whenever you want to, wherever you're at. So uh, very cool. But anyhow, guys, that is the top 10 mods for the week. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen. Join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.